think this is where they normally strike. Uh, this is probably where this matchup should go, but it's really hard to say. Yeah. Uh, I never know who wins the battlefield. I know it's one side, or not, and someone likes it more than the other. I but. think it's Sheik's best stage. Sheik's best stage? Uh, maybe yeah, Sheik's, but yeah, that's one of Sheik's best stage. It is. Okay. Uh, lots of platforms through Varan. Really good for defense mode. That's kind of how you have to play this match. Right. But who wins? It kind of depends on who wins the match, I think. My dad's stage is better than average. Yeah. So that's why they like doing our uh, Sheik's like Sweet Man. Lots of platforms through Varan. Lots of really good at edge guarding Sheik. It's pretty good at edge guarding most characters. Sheik is pretty rinse and repeatable, but I don't know, sometimes I feel like it's hard to do it. Yeah. If they, if they go, keep going to the platform, you have to be kind of tight with your uh, movement because he just, uh, the critical mobility is just awful. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah, I, I don't know. He managed to do pretty well. Though. Yeah, which is, I mean, it's really good. That's how I don't think they're a platform. Too. Oh, okay. oh, that needle was had a potential, but yeah. yeah. Well, he was just kind of was near enough to ledge that he yeah. was gonna run. But like, if he got a second needle, oh, good fair. Uh, I think he should be facing. Before. He gets it, but I think he wanted to be facing the other. Back there is a lot more range like this. Yeah, but then you get the weak hit that can be not as good. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking. Because back here, also back here, sends you know, uh, worse angle than fair. I feel like the fair is a lot more of a read. Yeah, I mean, if, if you can get it, that's like RT, right? Is that Mike from the documentary? No, actually, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 I know. From that documentary? Yes. What other mic is, what mic is in the other documentary? The real documentary. Uh, see, that's a. Uh, you need you a have to get strong hits. I think you want to dash up here. It's probably really good. Oh, really? Okay. Um, on the down throw. Uh, I was just stuff. thinking you, you have to like fade back up, dead back up. You can't fade in or else you're going to get hit. Yeah. Yeah. I think the back guard itself is probably not great. Right what the hell? That down air probably should never work. Yeah, it actually has horrible frame data. Yeah. It's... But it works a lot of times. Um, it's so I'm not, bad, it's I'm not good. actually sure why it works. It's. Like, weirdly, I don't know, lots of people miss the reaction on it. Right. Because no. the hurtbox is actually, like, below, or the hit, where the hitbox comes out is actually, like, above the hurtbox. So every oh, move so like your, so your toe is, doesn't have a hitbox. Yeah, yeah. So, like, pretty much every move beats it. Yeah. As long as you're above, if, as long as you're below it, you can hit it with something. Well, I mean, Peach doesn't have that yeah, many good, like, yeah. like, up air's okay, but it comes up really slow. And obviously, like, up tilt and... Yeah, up tilt and up smash aren't that good either. Yeah, I don't know, they might be underutilized, but yeah, they're not good. Um... <laughs> for Martin, so let's see, for let's see. Do it. Let's see his edge guard here. Goes to the platform. Goes yeah. to the reverse here. You can actually omps attack that, I'm pretty sure. And I don't know how good Peach's options are to cover after the omps attack, so I think maybe that's something. If he, if he, like, lands the platform after the, the nair, yeah. maybe you can, like, douse him. But if he something. had to, like, dash left and get the nair... Yeah. I, I'm just theorycrafting that point. I've never actually done it or seen anybody do it. Because, I didn't have champagne at least. There's no one else who texted there. Yeah, it's not too hard. It's kind of, like, top edge of practice. Yeah. I think if you're not getting an edge guard situation, you want a nair normally because it does more damage. And it's cheap, but I'm not, I'm not too sure. I think you have to like aerial, right? Like to stop it. Uh, I, I know, like I know. Water, or, I don't know if that's true, but I just, uh, uh, Nick fares. Like he just spams fair when he's like. Yeah, on there used to be this thing where fair sends you forward a little bit as cheap when you're recovering. I think that was debunked. I'm not sure. Oh, good second there. He has a swan. Oh, oh, I think he was trying to double jump there. I like that idea. Oh, really? okay. Keeps him off stage though. Center back, but it looks like he was a little too antsy for the hit once yeah. he got stage back. And then he, he missed Mason's aerial and got fair. This He's is... got his float still, so this is not, not free by any means. Uh, he gets hit by that again. Uh, he can't have... He's... I don't know if doing that a lot. Good job on him to, to, uh, this. to get that yeah. fair, but I think Vontag needs to start mixing it up and staying high. He's yeah. just dropping low uh, at the 
same point. And he aims at the ledge too. You can even like drop and then like, keep. I think you can drop and like air dodge to the platform or something like to fake, fake him out after that. I mean, Bronzo's option wasn't bad, but I think he just kind of spammed it. Yeah. Well too much. He got hit by he like he got hit by twice before. Yeah, yeah. Like in a row too. It wasn't even like two separate. Ones. They were a little farther. I mean, like so that's probably his base option that he does sort of without thinking. And then they happened so long ago that he kind of forgot about uh, it before. But Nick had covered him first, so he's probably going to cover him again. But you have to... And that's actually a pretty big thing in those sort of high-pressure situations where you have to do something quickly. Try to notice what the other person likes to do first. Right. What his most common option to do first is. And then in a separate situation later, he's probably going to do it again. Just, bi just picking up habits. So like, that's a... I don't know, I feel like... You had a lot of time to think about the recovery, so just right. right apply there. He got, he got hit once or twice before that, so he, yeah, had, yeah. he had plenty of time like up, up up there, like in the flow. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't have to really use strong start on this game. Yeah. Well, I guess the crouch cancel, but it doesn't do anything. I'm secretly cheering for Nick because he's using my controller, so I want to... I want to say my controller got... I'm just rooting for Ajax. Team uh, yeah. yeah. I definitely think Team Axion will get a win today. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> low, low probability. Oh, I could, could, I think it was one touch back by one touch. Oh my god, that upper to immediate down. Yeah, yeah, that was Not great. sure if he called out the crouch cancel, but immediately brought it back. It was down on the middle stop. Yeah. Both of these people have made comebacks so far. Mmm, that fair was kind of... Oh, uh, like he was just kind of like, oh, what the fuck just happened? I think he was trying to float in air and missed it. He dared. He was daring. He was yeah. an animation And he dared. wanted to float in air. Maybe he wanted to uh, down he like, he, It was like a fake float dare, and then he got a grab. It was like a weird, like, tomahawk, like, option. Seems like in that situation, he's always floating in air, I guess, so. Great to have by Adoran, but again, we thought. I mean, I think, like, I'm mean, still, like, learning about this whole thing, but, like, there's at some point at high percent, you have to DI actually away to the corner, right? Like, because he died, like, off the side or the top or something. Like, well, it depends on the move, right? But sometimes you keep DIing up, you'll die off the top before you die off the side. Yeah, I know. So then you need to start DIing a little he, bit in between. Yeah, and that's when you get to, like, godlike DI. But that one he died off, died off the side, I think. Yeah, was fine. I don't think he really had a chance to survive. Yeah, that's true. He just took a fair straight up, so it was really hard. Oh, I, yeah, I oh that oh, one was the lead, yeah. He's, it's yeah fine. I don't know how he could have covered the ledge. He tried, but... It's like his only option, unless you, like, really go down there. And you need to know that he doesn't have a jump. So this is a bad end card, but I hit him in the wrong direction. Oh, uh, no, there he doesn't have a jump. He just took it out of I don't know. Is that down eyes? No, oh, yeah. I've seen once this year on the stream. Pick a best store head against Fox Master. Yeah. Didn't use it very well though. You got one hit off of it. Yeah, but it didn't lead anything. You can, you can hit with a stitch base, yeah. but at low percent it doesn't lead oh, anything. Oh, it's still 35%. Yes. It's, it's, it's actually kind of big because it's out of crash cancel range. I mean, obviously, it's not you know, super noteworthy, not going to be any high level. Just getting one hit is kind of bad. Okay. Good air dodge by one time. Yeah. Um, 
especially because Nick seems to have a read on how many people that is. Well, I don't think that's guaranteed. No, that, that's just on bad DI, I think. It's no, like, I don't think that's guaranteed on that DI either. Oh, really? He, uh, he could have jumped out. Like you said, Pete is so floaty. I think he could have. Uh, buffer jump air dodge, at least. Maybe not. Or wiggle air dodge. I think yeah. that works. Uh, buffer jump is easier. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like, he has options. Yeah, well, it's air dodge. So Nick, uh, I don't doing a really good job using the platforms here. Uh, start using Battlefield from Y, it's kind of a shaky advantage. Uh, yeah. I don't. Time going, he's just going for a raid to try to get the stock because he's down. I think. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like. But he, like he could have on the floor short edge guard, but I don't think it would have been a guaranteed kill. Oh, wow. That was a sick edge cancel. He edge canceled the up air, made it but, like, to go in to punish it, and then paired him immediately. That was so good. So he jumped out and used it out there, but he I've been noticing so much more edge cancel because I want to put it in my Marth game. Uh, I don't know. It's probably better games. It's probably. It's too much about Mare. That's amazing at that. He, he literally needs a judge there. Oh, he oh goes up with my god. Otteron That's kind of a read, that. like getting the ledge like that. You like a read from Otteron. From Otteron, yeah. You yeah. Like, bat it all on, I mean, you're gonna get up early. Yeah. Exactly. If, they, if they just hold it, you're dead. You should be dead anyway. Yeah, it should be, but. But sometimes it's tough to time. Right. Yeah. From where he up beat, I think you want to go like a little after the poof, which is why it makes it a little time. The double poof. Or... So just, you only get double. This is only single poof. Oh, yeah. I, I I did hear you or something. Maybe it's. Oh, it's yeah. 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 Did Blanza get shield poke on the left side? I don't remember. If he, did, if he shield uh, dropped or no, got shield poke. Yeah, he shield dropped. To get hit by the up air. Yeah, I think uh, so. Yeah. Good job by Adoran. Really well played. He used. Platforms, like, platforms were basically yeah. broken in that matchup. He used Battle Fighter. 